Yo, what it do? It's your boy Supremo Chiha, and I'm about to go through what I think are the potential starting lineup for next season. Now, if they get all these players, I think Real Madrid will simply be unstoppable and will terrorize every competition they're in. And honestly, there's no reason why they couldn't win the treble. Now, obviously, people like City and Liverpool and Barcelona will still pose a competition. Um, but I, I still think that they'll just be way too strong uh, against any opposition if they do get some of these players. So, firstly, obviously, I think Zidane being back changes a lot of things. People like Varane have been, were looking like they might leave. And people like Bale were looking like they might stay. But Bale will more than likely go. And if he stays, he's not going to play. And um, there's rumors that he might even go for free. That's how much Zidane doesn't want him. On the other hand, Zidane does would like a Pogba and would like an Eden Hazard and would like a Neymar and would like a Mbappe. Um, I think he'd be happy with either Neymar or Mbappe or either Pogba or um, Ericsson and etc. etc. So I'm going to start it with the, the goalkeepers. Now, um, we have three goalkeepers and I think it's, it's kind of obvious that Thibaut Courtois will be the first option. And um, then Kelo Navas will be the second option. And the reserve option will be the young Luca. So, and he probably won't even get game time, more than likely. If, he, if he's lucky, he might get a cup run here and there. But I think it's going to rotate between Courtois and uh, Victor Navas, if Victor Navas still stays. Um, either way, Courtois is going to be the number one. And he can probably more than likely play every game for ev in every competition so that would be my prediction for for the goalkeeping I, it's, it's not really a production but it's 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 pretty much guaranteed um then we go to the wing backs uh, or the whole back line would just say i think of i think varan even though it looked like he was leaving i think he'll stay because of sedan and i think he will start with soldier ramos now i do know that they just got a new center back on a six-year deal ed or militao and i think he's just there because ramos gets red cards quite often and yellow cards and um, Varane frankly just gets injured every season so it's good to have a replacement that's really really good and you know not super proven but pretty proven. Uh, Ido Militao had a great season with Porto and it's no wonder that he's now in the team so I think that the back line will compose of Marcelo on the left back. Um, I think that Carval will stay on the right back even though I do think they, they should try to look for a better right back. Um, and the two center backs will be Varane and, um, and Sergio Ramos. Now the formation, uh, I think is either going to be a 4-3-3 three, three or a 4-2-3-1 formation. And I suppose I'll get to my reasoning why later. Uh, but currently as the midfield is going with the 4-3-3, three, three, um, I would say Cruz and Modric in the... Uh, left defensive mid and right defensive mid respectfully and Pogba uh, or Eriksen as the attacking uh, midfield midfielder or as the yeah essentially as the attacking midfielder so that's how I would go with it and then up front I would go with Eden Hazard on the left uh, Benzema or Icardi or <laughs> Mbappe or <laughs> Neymar in the center. And then on the right, it could be either Icardi, Vinicius, uh, Mbappe, or Neymar. So just for the sake of this video, I think what I will do is say on the left, Aiden Hazard in the center, uh, in the striker role, either Icardi or Mbappe. And I will say Mbappe just because, well, Icardi looks like he's definitely leaving. So maybe I'll give it to Icardi. Uh, he's less expensive as well than Neymar and Mbappe. So I'd give it to Icardi. And then on the right, I'd give it to Mbappe or Neymar. Uh, just for the sake of it, I'll put Slash. Just because it's very uncertain. So I think either way, that team looks freaking scary. Now, they do have Javic. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, actually, I just realized it. I just remember that they bought Javic. So, okay, Javic up front, uh, I suppose, is the new thing. Mm, although he, he could just be uh, uh honestly a, i suppose you're not gonna buy a new player to bench him really so we say javich up front um with item bape 
or or Icardi. I'll say Mbappe or Icardi and, and Neymar is very unlikely because it's just too expensive. So yeah, I think that would be the starting lineup for next season. And I think I'm not too sure about Jovic because I haven't seen him personally, but you know, uh, that looks like a scary starting lineup to me, regardless of Jovic, to be honest. Um, and if Icardi goes even scarier. Now, obviously, there's the whole problem with his wife and all that stuff, but I, I think Real Madrid can handle any type of player, to be honest, or a big enough club that can can afford to have a diva on the squad uh, as long as they do the goods. And I think Cardi can do the goods uh, with Real Madrid. So that's what I think the starting lineup uh, potential will be. Now, I did talk about the whole formation of the 4-2-3-1. Uh, now, with that, everything would stay the same. Um... You know, except uh, this uh, Cruz and Madrid will still be holding, uh, but this time central attacking with Soy would still be Pogba, and then on the left side would have Eden Hazard. On the right side would have Eriksen. Yep, on the right side would have Eriksen, and then up front we'd have either Icardi, Mbappe, or Jovic. Now that so because if that does happen, there's no way they're gonna sell Benzema. I don't think so. It'd be Benzema, Jovic, and maybe Mbappe. Uh, as the strikers so more than likely Javic then if that's the case I see Javic starting but I think Bappe would be able to drop down and, and play where Ericsson is playing so I think they still have plenty of options there and yeah so I think that that would be the, the starting lineup with uh, if 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 Mbappe uh, sorry if, if the formation is uh, four, two, three, one, and Mbappe will probably be up front, and Javid will probably be benched with Benzema, and they might switch formation every now and then. And but that's that's what I these these are what I think the potential teams are. What do you guys think in the comment section? Which team do you guys think is stronger? Which team would you guys like to see Real Madrid have? I uh, do think they're a treble winning side if they have either of these teams. And you know who would you like to see come to Real Madrid yourself? Uh, thanks for watching. It's been your boy Supremo Chiha. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that shit. Let's have discussions. Let's talk about it. Let's dig deep. Do you think Real Madrid could win the treble next season if they get these players? Or do you think that it wouldn't make too much of a difference? Let me know in the comments below.